Hello students. We're now going to look at index law number two, which is uh, a shortcut or the rule for dividing powers with the same base. Now the first thing we have to just revise is simplifying fractions. And the reason for that is um, one way to write dividing, especially in algebra, is to write it as a fraction. So you do need to know how to simplify uh, fractions. So let's quickly go through these. Four over six the rule for simplifying is you can divide top and bottom by the same number, and the number that divides into both 4 and 6 evenly, this is called the highest common factor, is 2. So that becomes 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, just for practice, stop the video, um, write down the remaining fractions, and simplify, please. Okay, let's see how you went on that. Okay, so for this one, I've got to find the highest common factor, which is 6. By the way, if you divided by 2, that's okay, but then you also have to look at your answer and then divide by 3 as well. So you always want to divide it so you can't simplify it any further. So 18 divides 6 is 3, 24 divides 6 is 4. 9 on 16... Well, the factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. Factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. That's already simplified. And the last question, 12 divide 4, I can divide top and bottom by, whoops, I can divide top and bottom by 4. And that, of course, gives me 3 over 1. And we don't leave numbers with denominator of 1 like that. That just simplifies to 3. So if you have 1 in your denominator, you don't need to write the fraction. Okay, let's go have a look at index law number 2. Okay, a to the fifth divided by a squared. Let's expand that. Again, the purpose behind this is for you to figure out what the index law is for dividing powers with the same base. So a to the fifth divided by a squared in expanded form. Now again, we can divide out common factors. So I can divide out those two. I can divide out those two. Really what I have here, of course, is I'm a divided by a is one. So that's the proper way to do it. And that gives me a time, well, one times one is one, a times a times a is a cubed. That all simplifies to a cubed over 1 or just a cubed. Similarly, if I do the same thing here, a to the power of 5 over a, I can cross out one factor of a. Again, there's an implied one there. I'm not going to write it in this case. That just becomes a to the power of 4 over 1 or just a to the power of 4. Now looking at those two examples, a to the fifth divide a squared is a cubed. a to the fifth over a to the 1 is a to the fourth. See if you can write down the rule for dividing powers in English and or algebraically. OK, and let's see what you came up with. Index law number two, to divide powers with the same base, subtract the indices. In other words, again, the base has to be the same. If that's an A and that's a B, there's no way of using index law number two. So there's the example using the divide sign. There's the same example using the fraction bar. The answer is the same in each case. And if we have A to the ninth, divide A cubed, the rule is subtract the indices and get a to the sixth. Okay, let's go ahead and practice that rule. Okay, I'll do, uh, I might do this one and leave you to try the other three. Okay, so I got 4a to the sixth over a squared. Well, the 4 just stays. I can't simplify that at all. a to the sixth divided by a squared is a to the 6 subtract 2 to divide powers with the same base, subtract indices, 4a to the 4th. 
Okay, stop the video and have a go with the next three questions on your own, please. Okay, let's see how you went. So once again, because the base is the same, Z to the 12 takes 6. 12 takes 6 is 6. And therefore, the answer is Z to the 6. Now, the most common mistake students make with these questions is they see a 12, they see a 6, they see a divide, and they want to say 12 divides 6 is 2. So they're trying to apply the division to just the indices and not to the whole expression. So you've got to keep an eye out for that, especially when they divide nicely, like 12 divides 6 nicely. It's pretty easy to think, oh, 12 divides 6 is 2, when in fact the index law says you subtract the indices. B to the fifth divided by B squared, written with the divide sign rather than the fraction bar, is just B to the five take two, or B cubed. And this one, I'm going to write that as a fraction first. You don't have to, but I think to start with, it's a good way to think about these. So there's the question written as a fraction. Now we have to do two steps here. First, we look at the coefficients. 9 divided by 3 is 3. a to the 8th divided by a cubed. Well, to divide powers with the same base, we subtract indices. 8 minus 3 is 5. So when you have coefficients, you divide them normally. When you have powers, then you use the index law number 2. To divide powers with the same base, subtract indices. Okay, slightly more complicated. So I'll do maybe this one and then leave it up to you to try the other three. So first I have to simplify 24 over 16. Well, 16 doesn't go into 24. The highest common factor is 8. 16 divide 8 is 2. 24 divide 8 is 3. So I will have a fraction in my answer. Okay, y to the ninth divided by y cubed. Well, to divide powers with the same base, subtract indices. 9 minus 3 is 6. There's a 1 there. z cubed divided by z to the power of 1 is z to the power of 3 minus 1, which is z to the power of 2. Okay, stop the video and see if you can simplify the remaining three expressions, please. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you went on this one. Okay, once again, we have to, oops, I don't think I'm going to need that fraction bar. Um, two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. Because there's a one on the bottom, we don't need to write the fraction. So we get just a two. A to the fifth divided by A squared. Well, we go five minus two is three. That's A to the power of three. Okay, looking at this expression just here, I've got a 2 times 3 on top, which is a 6. I've got a 5 on the bottom, and I can't simplify that any further, so both of those numbers have to stay. To, multi <coughs> excuse me, to multiply powers <coughs> with the same base, well, these are different powers, so I can't use my index law on that, but I can do this. I can say m to the 27th divided by m cubed is m to the 27 minus 3, which is 24. And n to the power of 9 divide n to the power of 6 is n to the power of 9 minus 6, which is n to the power of 3. So this really had three questions in it. First, simplify the coefficients. Secondly, simplify the powers of m. And third, simplify the powers of n. Okay, let's try the same thing here. So what I can do to start with is go 2 times 4 is 8. h squared times h cubed. The bases are the same, so I can add the indices over 16 h to the power of 6. Okay, now what are we going to do here? So first I can say 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 16 twice. So I end up with a 2 in the bottom. 
Well, if I try to apply the index law to this, I get h to the 5 minus 6, which is negative 1. Well, that in fact turns out to be correct, as you'll see in uh, one of the upcoming videos. But for now, what I'm going to do is say, well, if I got 5 h's there and 6 h's there, I can cross out 5 h's for each of them. And that just leaves h to the power of 1. And in the numerator, I just have a 1. So whenever you've got a higher index um, in your denominator, then rather than using the index law number 2, just think of this case. Um, I've got 5 h's on top, 6 h's on the bottom. When I simplify, I still have 1 h left on the bottom. Okay, so that's index law number two. Next video, not surprisingly, will be index law number three.